Welcome to Good News Breakfast. This is Rachel and I'm excited to have you with me today as we dive into the program this morning. We serve a great God, faithful in all his ways. Amen. Let's begin with a prayer this morning. Lord, I pray that you would minister to every person listening this morning by your Holy Spirit. May your word bring life and hope to every heart. Bless each one in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to listen to two more worship songs this morning called Here I Am to Worship, sung by local artist Norm Gray.
uncertain times. We only have to listen to the headline news or read about world events to know we are living in uncertain times. And the reality is many of us have situations and circumstances in our own lives that we are challenged with daily. But the good news this morning is that we serve a God who is entirely faithful to walk with us every single step of the way. And we can trust in him to give us the strength we need to walk life out in the victory that is ours in Christ. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 in the Amplified Version says, Do not be anxious or worried about anything. But in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requests knowing to God. And the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. What an incredible promise that is this morning. The scripture reassures us that in difficult times, we don't have to allow fear or worry to consume our hearts and minds, but instead we can cry out to the Lord in prayer, making our requests and concerns known to him. If we turn to him in the hard times, he promises to give us a peace that transcends all understanding a supernatural peace beyond our comprehension that will be a guard or protector of our hearts and minds. It's a kind of peace that is not shaken and is not moved by the circumstances of life. It is said that when we are walking in right relationship with the Lord, come what may, we can say, all is well with my soul. Horatio G. Spafford, 1828-1888, wrote the well-known hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Horatio endured traumatic loss. The first was the sad loss of his son from pneumonia in 1871, followed by the Great Chicago Fire later that year, which ruined him financially as a businessman and lawyer. His business interests were further hit by the economic downturn of 1873, at which time he had planned to travel to England with his family on the SS Ville de Havre to help with D.L. Moody's upcoming evangelistic campaigns. In a late change of plan, Spafford sent the family ahead while he was delayed on business concerning zoning problems. Unbeknown to him, the most significant loss was yet to come, when those very plans tragically resulted in the loss of his wife and four daughters. The story is as follows, and I'd like to credit Wiki for some of the information. On November the 22nd, the ship was struck by the Loch Urn, an English vessel, tragically sinking in just 12 minutes with the loss of 226 lives. Only 61 passengers and 26 crew members survived. Rescued by the Loch Urn and subsequently an American vessel called the Tree Mountain, several days later the survivors were finally landed at Cardiff, Wales. And Mrs Spafford cabled her husband with the words, Saved Alone. Spafford immediately left to join his wife. The hymn is said to have been penned as he approached the area of ocean thought to be where the ship carrying his daughters had sunk. In the face of great tragedy, he could say, even so, it is well with my soul. Sadly, Horatio went on to suffer further tragedy. Later in 1878, Spafford lost his daughter Bertha and later again Horatio from scarlet fever on February the 18th, 1880. Both he and his wife Anna never ever stopped serving the Lord. And just as Horatio did, we too can, in the midst of brokenness, pain and heartache, know the peace that surpasses all understanding. The hymn, It Is Well With My Soul, written in 1873, remains a powerful and anointed hymn that has ministered to thousands. 
a powerful testimony of a man who chose to cling to Jesus, to trust in him during one of the darkest periods of his life. A man who praised God and worshipped the Lord, regardless of how his circumstances looked in the natural. God promises to keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in him. God promises to keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in him. Amen. I'm sure we've all heard the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul, but I would like to read the original in its entirety this morning. Taken from Wikipedia, It Is Well With My Soul, verse 1. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to know, it is well, it is well with my soul. And we all know the refrain, it is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. Verse 2, though Satan should buffet, though trial should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ have regarded my helpless estate and have shed his own blood for my soul. Verse 3, my sin, oh, the bliss of this glorious thought, my sin not in part, but the whole, is nailed to his cross and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh, my soul. Verse 4, for me be it Christ, be it Christ hence to live, if Jordan above me shall roll. No pang shall be mine for in death as in life. Thou wilt whisper thy peace to my soul. Verse 5. But Lord, tis for thee, thy coming we wait. The sky, not the grave, is our goal. O trump of the angel, O voice of the Lord, blessed hope, blessed rest of my soul. Verse 6, and Lord haste the day when the faith shall be sight and the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend a song in the night, O oh my soul. Powerful words written over 150 years ago, yet still relevant today. John 14 verse 27 in the Amplified Version says, Peace I leave with you, my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. I pray that each and every one of us here listening this morning would know that same peace, that same assurance, that when we trust in Jesus, no matter what our circumstances, no matter what's happening in our lives, that we too can say, it is well with my soul. Today, no matter what you are going through, the truth is Jesus promises to never fail nor forsake. He promises to walk with us throughout the journey of life if we trust in him. We don't have to be tossed about by every wave of circumstance that comes. We can stand firm in the knowledge that all is well with our soul because of Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace, even in the darkest storms of our life. In him we have a blessed hope that no matter what the uncertainty of our lives or the uncertainty of the world around us, there is one in whom we can trust an anchor for our souls. And in Jesus, we can find everlasting peace and joy that comes from walking in relationship with him. Let's pray. Father, I pray this morning that you would bless each and every one listening, that you would touch and minister to every heart, bring hope and healing to those enduring trial and heartache this morning. Wrap your arms of love around them and put your perfect peace in their hearts. Draw near to them, Lord, that they may know you intimately and fill their lives with everlasting joy and peace in Jesus name. Amen. It's time now to say goodbye. Enjoy your day and let's go out with a beautiful hymn. When peace 
just like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well it is well with my soul it is well with my soul it is well Well. 